Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Season 2 of Hut Roulette. Like a lot of you guys asked, I am bringing back the series for you guys because it was such a good run in Season 1. We built this crazy ass team and we're going to try to do it once again. Anyways, we're starting fresh in Division 1. We're not starting off with a bronze team like before. We're going to be opening up 125k pack that includes 26 gold rare players in that pack and we're going to be filling up this empty roster space with 20 spaces like you guys know there is a team of the year that is out and we're going to see in this pack if we can get lucky and maybe pull one of those team of the years to start off season two of hot roulette so let's get that pack opened up come on ea gods show us something good for the first episode of hot roulette all right here we go and in this pack we're gonna get a lot of players i don't know maybe we'll get lucky here we got Braun, we got murphy we got granlin a lot of nice defensemen there. Noah Hannafin as well. Uh, Zajac, Raymond, Dubinsky. Lots of new faces that we're going to be playing with. And look at that. We might just have our starting goaltender there. Kari Lennon. Uh, we got Lindholm, Ribeiro. We got big man Alexiak. 6'7", 250 pounds. Oh man. That is going to be an awesome defenseman to use. We got Mathot. We got Hayes. And we got Tyler Johnson as well. Not a bad 87 overall centerman. Going to be probably our first line centerman there. Hurdle, Johansson. Emelyn, Jones, lots of defensemen in this pack, so we'll definitely have to see how this pack is going to work. We also have Stafford and Tana, but anyways, that is how the pack is looking like. We got a couple good players, not going to lie, but let's send these guys to the collection. Let's build that team. And here we go, guys. We're back at it again with another season of Hut Roulette. Hopefully, you guys are very excited. The team is ready. I will talk about the team before we talk about the rules. But on our first line, we got Mike Ribeiro, or should I say Dirty Ribeiro for those guys that watch NHL 14 Hut. Also, we got Tyler Johnson, our highest overall on this team, 87 overall with that 90 skating category. He's going to have to help lead us with a victory in the next game. There's also Marcus Johansson. Uh, Elias Lindholm, Michael Granlin, uh, Mason Raymond, more of my scoring line for the second line. We also have Tomas Hurdle or Ninja Hurdle. We got Brandon Dubinsky, Drew Stafford on that third line, giving us a little bit of depth on our third, as well as Zajac. Uh, we got Bukestad, Nick Bukestad, and Kevin Hayes, which is kind of my power forward, kind of get things done kind of line. So that's how our offense is looking like. Let's go to the defense now. We got Alexei Emelin, Kari Lennon. Uh, Seth Jones definitely just put in the highest overalls for our defensemen just in case we come up against any good guys that have really good players There's also Alex Martinez, Matt Niskanen, Chris Tanev, and Mark Mathot So anyways, that is the team we're rocking with in Division 1 uh, So we're gonna see how this team does. We're gonna get this game going, but let's talk about the rules now Okay, so the rules guys uh, I'm gonna keep this pretty quick. However, I did make a couple tweaks to this series So you guys definitely want to listen up and I, the main thing I want to do with these rules is kind of make it a little bit more exciting for you guys to watch. I don't want them too overpowered, but I, there's only about two or three months left before NHL 16 dies. And I want to make sure that you guys see as many good pickups every game that we play. Uh, so anyways, let's talk about the rules now. For every win that we get, once again, we can raise that buy now, buy now minimum by 1,000 coins. And that depends on the streak. So if we get like a nine game win streak, that means we can raise that buy now minimum in the auction marketplace by 9,000 coins. And that will increase our chance of getting some superstars. So next up is a loss in regulation or OT or shootout. Uh, that means we have to lose a player using random.org. And that also means we have to restart that buy now minimum to 50 coins. And what I'm also going to be doing for that rule is that I also get to buy a player from the marketplace with that buy now minimum at 50 coins, of course. But at least that gives us a chance of playing a superstar. But it also means that we have a really, really high percentage of getting some like bronze or silver guy that we don't necessarily need on our team. But uh, at least it's a little bit of a way to kind of put in some more replacements on our team just in case, you know, we get a two or three game loss streak. And now let's talk about hat tricks. And this rule I changed a little bit. I think you guys are really going to like it because a lot of people have been asking me to put in this rule. But for every time a player gets a hat trick on our team, we get to upgrade it to the next special card that it has. So I'll give you guys an example here because I haven't used this rule before. But say Tyler Johnson here got a hat trick in a game. And say he has an 88 overall team of the week. He's got an 89 overall player of the game. He has a 90 overall milestone in the marketplace. Just for an example, of course. Uh, for the first hat trick that he gets, I get to upgrade him to the first special card. So he, he would get the 88 overall team of the week. If he got another uh, hat trick, then I would upgrade him to the 89 overall player of the game. And so on 
and so forth depending on the amount of special cards that person has and of course it also works with the team of the years as well so there could be a pretty big jump between like an 89 overall player of the game to all the way to a 94 overall you know jonathan taves team of the year so um i think that's a good way to supplement some more special cards into this team without getting like a five game win streak and just to add on to that rule uh, if that player does not have a special card, then that means I can just put a plus five all on that player for three games, just in case, as well as if we can get a shutout. For every shutout that we get, uh, we get to put a change team or change position on any player on our, on our team for free, and that will help kind of build up that chemistry. For every three game win streak, and you guys know usually we buy one 87.50 pack, and I'm changing it this season. For every three game win streak that we do get, we can buy a 17.5k pack, and I want this series to kind of incorporate packs as well. Give us a better chance to pull some chemistry cards or pull some better players. And, you know, there's some awesome team of the years that are out right now. So having that better chance definitely doesn't hurt this hot roulette team. Also, five game win streak. Once again, we can buy a special card from the marketplace and we'll use random.org to kind of randomize which special card we can buy in the marketplace. So those are the rules for hot roulette. Hopefully I was very clear with the rules. I will put them in the description box in case that you kind of forget those rules midway through the season. However, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys understood that. Let's get into our first game of hot roulette. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go, guys. First game of Hot Roulette. This guy's got Tarasenko, Curry, and Tyler Sagan on his first line. Not a bad team for sure, and I don't know why I'm wearing the Arizona Coyotes jersey. I think I was quick selling some stuff in my collection. I accidentally uh, turned the, switched the jersey to the wrong one. So, anyways, we're going to get this game going. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, Dirty Ribeiro. He's got a break. Deke him out and rifle it. Oh, Henrik Lundqvist. He's got some amazing players on his team. All right, he's got legend Luke Robitaille as well. Come on, get back. Uh, we'll ring it around the boards here, but pretty good chance for Ribeiro, but let's keep it going, see if we can get some more shots on net. Oh my goodness, what a goal by Elias Lindholm. Doing a little toe drag, tricking him out. And I just go for the uh, right side cheese there. And we make it one to nothing on the power play as well. Not a bad goal at all. Get out of there, Nick Backstrom. Nice little toe drag. There it is. I knew he was going to go for that poke check. Thought I would just go it around him. But pretty sick goal to get in the first uh, goal for Hot Roulette. So anyways, uh, it's one to nothing. Let's keep going. Alright guys, so pretty solid first period. 8 to 4 in shots, 1 minute and 50 seconds time on attack to 3 minutes and 8 seconds. So he's definitely getting a little bit of pressure on me, but as long as I keep some more shots on net, kind of stay on the outside here, maybe we can just pull off this one nothing victory, hopefully. But anyways, let's keep it going here, see if we can uh, get some more goals. Oh, Hurdle, go Hurdle. Uh, spin him, wrong way. Oh no, I spanned the wrong way there. In front. Oh, Drew Stafford was there. Get the nice little stick lift on. Uh, oh, watch out. Careful. Careful. Don't let him get the breakaway at least. All right, Niskin and go, go, go. Get in there. Toe drag. Back to the Dubinsky. The backhand forehand. Oh, we couldn't pull it off. Con. Oh, there it is, Stafford. Rifle it. Shoot. Oh, Hurdle almost picked up the garbage there. Oh, Johansson, get around him. Get around him. That's a penalty shot. Come on. That's got to be a penalty shot. There we go. All right. We got to capitalize on this play. Bufflin, or that was Myers that was just beat by Marcus Johansson. Johansson had a little bit of speed there. All right. Come on. Uh, let's go backhand forehand. There it is. Deke him out there. I knew he would go juke out to the right or left in his perspective. But pretty nice goal by Marcus Johansson, giving us the two-goal lead now. Let's play some good defense. Oh, no way. How do you miss that shot? I shot that directly in the center too. I, I knew once I had that opportunity, I had to shoot it straight on net. Oh no, oh no. Two on one and Kari Lennon's gonna be beat by a pretty bad rush that I did give up by Taylor Hall the sniper, so. 
two to one. We're only up by one. And definitely two goal leads are not the best leads to have. So we gotta increase that lead just a little bit more. Try to secure it a little bit more in the third. All right, one minute left. Come on. Don't let Tarasenko even get close to the net here. All right, come on. Go to Ribeiro. Get, go to Ribeiro. Don't let him get the shot. Nice defense. Just stay. Keep him in the corners. Don't let him get that strong shot on net. There it is. Good job, Dubinsky. We have some good players here. Johansson. Get it down. Ring it around. All the way to Dirty Ribeiro. Stick lift. There it is. All right, Ribeiro. Cut in. In front. Shoot. Oh, Johansson. So close there. One more chance. In front. Oh, and Tyler Johnson couldn't tuck it home, but maybe Johansson can. No, can't do it. Come on, grab the puck. That's mine. All right, 23 seconds. 23 seconds. I don't care. 2-1 victory is okay. No. Nope. Oh, man. Hall was there. Come on, switch to Emelin. It's Emelin. Nice hit. Come on, Tanev. There it is. Nice, solid pickup. That was crucial. Back to Johnson. Just get it in. Ring it around. That will burn off some time. Stick lift. That's, that will burn off a little bit of time as well. One second, and there is the victory. The first game of Hot Roulette. We do end up with a 2-1 to one score. That was a pretty close game, but we are able to come up with a victory still. So let's take a look at the stats here before we uh, go pick up that player. All right, so the game stats, 20 to 13 in shots, 8 minutes and 23 seconds time on attack to 9 minutes and 29 seconds. Uh, we got pretty good. We were doing pretty good on the face-offs, 11 to 3 in that category. But let's take a look at the three stars. No one with a hat trick, unfortunately, but Marcus Johansson with that nice little breakaway goal gets us the game winner. Elias Lindholm with that first period snipe, and Alex Petrangelo on his lineup. Got four hits and one assist, getting the third star. So anyways, let's go ahead and choose the 20th player because we did get 20 shots that game. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys. So the first pickup of Hot Roulette. Let's put that collection type onto players. Raise that buy now minimum by 1,000 coins. As you guys can see here, we'll use the keyboard. And uh, we'll be choosing the 20th player. So let's make this a good one. Let's see what the 20th player is. Let's see what we get. So anyways, the first player is Hammerlick. He's number one. Gabrick is number two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Bobby Ryan is going to be the first pickup for our team. Pretty close to Matthew Shane and Gustav Nyquist with some quicksters, but Bobby Ryan, definitely not a bad player. So let's go ahead and buy him out, see where he fits in. Okay guys, so welcome back to the team. As you guys can see, Bobby Ryan already had the Tampa change team. So he had a little bit of chemistry with Tyler Johnson. And that's kind of how I want to start the second game of Hot Roulette with 287 overall players with chemistry on that first line. Also, just moving down Mike Ribeiro, I think he could definitely help out with Marcus, uh, Michael Granlin and Elias Lindholm there. So I did take out Mason Raymond. He wasn't doing too much anyway, so throwing in Ribeiro might just enhance that lineup just a little bit. So anyway, second game of the episode. Let's get it going. Let's see if we can get that next win. Okay, guys, second game. This uh, this guy also has uh, Tarasenko. He's got Stamkos and Kuznetsov on his first line. I'm going to guess that's the team of the year, Kuznetsov. But anyways, we're going to get this game going. I also apologize about the background music. Um, can't do too much about that because it is playing from upstairs. But, oh, there it is. Oh, come on. Got a nice shot on net. P pass, pass the fuck. All right, delay penalty. See if we can capitalize on this power play here. And it's only like one minute into that first period. So pretty good start. Oh no, and he gets the first goal with Evgeny Kuznetsov. Thought he might go for the pass, so I did a slide with my defender. I guess that was the wrong play to do. So anyways, one to nothing. I switched back the jerseys back to the Hamilton Bulldogs. See if that makes a difference, but anyways, let's keep going here. It's got a lot of good players. Gotta be careful. Alright, so end of the first period. Not much going on at all. He's got six minutes in penalties and just been ranging it the whole time in those penalty minutes. Just so annoying facing against those people where I just cannot get the puck for the life of me, even with everything on full blast uh, for my, you know, offensive strategies. Anyways, let's keep it going here. Still second period, we've got lots of time. Oh, oh Bobby Ryan. Golden opportunity. Once, once again, there it is. Tyler Johnson. And they connect the Tampa change team, guys, right there. 
I'm not really a Tampa change team guy for Tyler Johnson, but he makes no mistake. They're tucking in against Henrik Lundqvist. That's a big goal to get. Oh, what a pass to Michael Granlin. The backhand forehand. Oh my goodness. How do we miss that? We had to get that one in so we have a chance, but I thought we could do the backhand forehand. Come on in front. Five on three. Jesus Christ. Gotta watch out. Pass it back down low. Don't give up the puck there. Tanev just got all the penalty. But all right. Play some good defense here. See what we can do. All right. Don't let him buy. Don't let him buy. No. Watch out for the guy. Oh my goodness. Kari Lennon. Bailing us out. Just hold the puck. Alright, we need a little bit of a regroup here. Gosh. Like, we are just trying our best here, but this guy definitely has a really good team. No, 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 no. Get back, my thought. Don't let him shoot! No! God damn it, who was that? Jeff Carter got me by the speed. I, I wanted to get back in time, but I just could not. And now we're down by one. Oh man, this Hot Roulette team, not gonna lie, has done pretty well so far. But I uh, just cannot grab the puck from him. He just keeps ragging it anytime he has a chance. It just makes it so much more difficult. Oh, Drew Stafford! Holy crap, with only five minutes left, Drew Stafford just in the right place at the right time. And once again, we beat Henrik Lundqvist tying up the game. Oh man, Dubinsky and Hurdle, that line definitely just bailed me out just there. Anyways, 2-2 two to two now, third period left, or four minutes left. Let's keep it going. Oh, what a save by Kari Lennon, giving up that breakaway. Come on, I was there. I was there with Rivero. Shit, guys. That is just... God damn it, that is bad by me. Man, I'm not even sure if I can score this last goal, but I'll stay positive. We need one chance here. Alright, guys. End of the game. We definitely tried our best, but... Oh man, that guy just outplayed me, outskated me at least, but that's a little bit unfortunate too. Definitely want to take a look at his team before we end off this episode, but there is a loss in the record books. 20, 11 in shots, 8 minutes and 26 seconds time on attack to 6 minutes and 45 seconds. That last goal that he scored, absolute backbreaker. I just cannot give that up. Luke Robitaille is the first start, Evgeny Kuznetsov the second, and Jeff Carter the third. So unfortunately, we do have to lose a player as well. Hopefully we don't lose Bobby Ryan because we just recently picked him up. But let's go ahead, go back on Ram.org. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so unfortunately we did lose that game. But I thought we put up a pretty good fight against that guy's team. I mean, our Hot Roulette team with not even 100 chemistry did pretty well, if I say so myself. So anyways, let's go ahead and copy this list of all the positions that we can remove off our team. Copy and paste. And let's go ahead and randomize and see what player we lose off the team. And it's going to be the fourth line center, which isn't uh, obviously not our top two or top three lines. So that's pretty good. So let's go ahead, go back to the team, choose to get off the fourth line center. Okay, so this is obviously not our team, but I just want to show you what we came up against. And our Hot Roulette team did pretty well. You know what? I am proud of it, even though we did get the loss. But, uh... I thought we did play pretty well that game. Anyways, let's go ahead and go and choose the fourth line center off our team. And that is going to be Nick Bukestad, which is a little bit unfortunate, but he didn't have that much ice time anyway. So the fourth line center is not that big of a deal to lose. So let's go ahead, go back to the marketplace. And we do get to pick up one player, uh, but we have to restart that buy now minimum to 50 coins, which sucks, but you never know. We could get something good, but we're going to be choosing the 11th player here. So let's go ahead, choose the 11th player. Let's see what we get. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. It's going to be Flynn. Don't know what his first name is. Brian Flynn. All right, so we'll go ahead, buy him out, and uh, put him into the team, and we'll put him into that fourth line center spot.
Okay guys, so a small little update before we wrap up this episode, but we did throw in Travis Zajac into that 4th line center spot. He was playing on the 4th line right wing before, so uh, because we do have a lot of centermen, there's no need to put in Brian Flynn into that 4th line center spot. Instead, I'll give him the right wing spot, and uh, I don't know, he's not going to do too much for me, so he's just a replacement for now. As well as, uh, Kari Lennon is tired, so I did have to throw in a backup goalie. And our backup goalie starting the first game was Wedgwood. And, uh, he's nothing special, he's just like a silver goalie with no chemistry with anybody. Uh, so he will be in replacement for Kari Lennon for the next episode of Hut Roulette. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If we can get a lot of likes on this, I will try my best to bring out another one within the next day or so. But, uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So anyways, let's get this next one open up. It's going to be a very quick pack opening once again, but whatever. You guys just want to see the packs and... Oh my goodness! What a pull! Holy fuck! Evgeny Kuznetsov. That is...